Hello everybody, Robert Rook here. It is November 27th, 2014. I just wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving to all you in the States that celebrate or those who serve abroad. Thank you for your service and I hope that you're in touch or with your family or whatever means necessary and know you're not alone and people are grateful for all you do. So thank you. Binna binna. Binna binna binna. Sorry. Um, it's been a while since I've done this. I uh, I feel that I've definitely lost the touch of things. I just want to let you know I'm still here, still alive, still kicking. Uh, currently, I'm still holding between 160 pounds, 165 pounds. So that m means that, um, yeah, I flux between 60 pounds and 65 pounds lost. I'm feeling good. Um, I've been eating since November 8th. Uh, the diet has been good. I still have not brought back any meats or cheeses, or should say, yeah, meat or dairy into my diet. Um, no temptation for Thanksgiving. Uh, I know people say it's punishment. I'm just not wanting the food. And I've sat there watching people eating apple pie, pumpkin pie. Um, well, there, there was no turkey, but I, I did do a, a Las Vegas buffet yesterday and the day before, and I was really worried about the buffets and what it meant to eating, but you can find tons of salad bars and fruit, and that's what I've been sustaining on. I've um, made a list of uh, all, all the foods that I normally eat, but just to give you an idea of things, I know I said I was going to go vegan, or raw, but I, I read somewhere in my search that it's okay to do eggs. Um, eggs themselves bring you back into the process as you start eating again, so it, it's a good stepping stone. So even though I originally wasn't going to do eggs, I decided to bring them back in my diet. So on average, every single day, I've been eating probably four to six eggs. I usually eat anywhere from three to maybe five bananas. I try to have anywhere from three to four apples. Um, I have other fruits and vegetables, so that's those original items listed are just like the staple. And then I've been eating cashews. Well, I, I haven't really explored all the available nut options. Um, I go to Costco. Um, get the big tubs of cashews, and I usually have about 30 to 50 of those a day. So, all in all, I'm definitely in a, a good calorie range where I'm not losing weight, I'm not increasing weight, and I think my calorie intakes somewhere between 14 and 1600 calories a day, but it feels so good eating a lot of melon, uh, honeydew cantaloupe um, and pineapple so you know I, I might be on the edge of doing some stuff with the sugars I've been eating tons and tons of sauerkraut and the sodium per serving very high very bad for you so I've heard and read you can counteract that with bananas so that's the, the large intake of bananas and that it just they taste good they feel good and the, the high fiber of all the fruit and everything makes you know, potty time, that much more fun. No pun intended, but there is, so it, it's nice to feel healthy and clean. Um, oh, I had a bunch of stuff I was going to say. I, I got so lazy after I got back here. I, you know, in Santa Cruz, I was walking three to ten miles a day. I know all you guys are aware of that. Uh, here, between the heat, the distance factor, location, and not knowing. I mean, you look at a map and everything, it's one inch apart, and you go to make the trek, and it's a six-mile walk. So you never know what you're going into, and I think that was a fear for me. And then it's a dry heat here, but, you know, being it was so humid in California, I was sweating like a pig on my walks, you know, big sweat rings and stuff, and I was anxious and nervous about, you know, walking through the desert, not Vegas proper, but, you know, the outlying desert areas and keeling over for lack of water or dehydration or anything else. 
So my brother came into town for this um, Thanksgiving week, and yesterday we took a 7.6 mile walk, and my uh, leg behind the knee is hurting a little bit for it today, but it's just inactivity for the last three weeks. Okay, closer to a month, but uh, it felt great to walk again, and I'm going to have a bunch of walks here pretty soon. And I am really sorry to all those that have been waiting on the photos. I took a lot of photos, and I wanted to do a perfect video with before and after photos and different angles and do the transitions and everything. I think I was trying to get a little fancy with it. and But between just a life getting in the way, I just haven't done it. So in the next day or so, when I have some time and family's out of town, I'm just going to make a quick, simple video with some before and after photos and then the other journey of the actual weight loss you'll see will come at a later date so again this is Robert it's um, 1127 November 27th it's Thanksgiving um, thank you again for checking up on me or wondering about me or whatever else I'm happy to report that there's been a few individuals that I've talked with and worked with a little bit in capacity, you know, just here for support and they're they're doing great things and they've accomplished a lot. So I'm proud of you guys. Keep up the work and efforts and you know, it's only as hard as you make it and any step towards your health or happiness is a step in the right direction. So with all that said, I wish you all, everyone, happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. If not, you know, just take the time, appreciate your friends and family, and share a meal. All right, well, I'm going to end it here because this is already longer than what I was going to do. So with all that said, take care of yourselves. Be good to everyone. And I will definitely um, try not to be a stranger, and I'll check in soon. Take care. Bye.